Hello, my beautiful Gemini friends. How are you today? Welcome to my channel. Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and we are getting ready to do the reading for Gemini. That was a very sh fast shuffle. Your energy right now is that you really want answers. You want to make a decision about a relationship in which there has been no new beginning. You haven't heard from someone. You heard from them a while ago, I would say probably a month ago. The Queen of Swords is Libra energy. This is very much about how you feel about just wanting to cut anything out of your life. You're still hurting from this. You want a reunion, but you do not really expect a reunion. In fact, I think you may be closed off to a reunion. You feel very special about someone, but they have hurt you. You feel highly wounded, and you are seeking answers at this time. Hence why you're here at the reading, right? All right, so let's see what else. Now let's look at your person's energy here towards you, Gemini. What is your person's energy in this reading at this time? Okay. Let's see. So we do have Sagittarius energy, Libra, Sagittarius. Libra, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay. So your person's energy is that they had to give up the burden. Your person feels very much that there's not much left here in this relationship. They feel very much left in the cold from you. They feel as though they have a lot of options. You have a lot of options. They have a lot of choices, though. I feel this is more about their choices. Ah, the energy. They love you. Wow. Okay. But you both feel pretty hopeless about this. You both are feeling very hopeless about this connection. Your person even more so than you. They feel as though they just got burned. They do not feel, they feel perhaps also that you owe them an apology. The mutual energy between the two of you is the Tower card, the Seven of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Eight of Cups. See what else? Ah, Leo energy. So what we see is the Tower card. There was a sudden moment that this all came crashing down. Both of you were very defensive. Both of you had a hard time opening up in love. You loved each other. You still love each other. The Hanged Man says that there's still this sense that both of you are waiting for the other one to, to contact the other. The Eight of Cups, right now you both stepped away from the relationship and the King of Wands is that you both feel a very familial contact. There's a lot of passion, there's a lot of heat, there is a tremendous amount of energy that both of you have a lot of pride, whoa, a lot of pride, but you are both very happy in this connection sensual, sexual, you felt like you got to be yourself, but both of you feel that you have to defend yourself. So let's take a look and see what the clarifiers are for these energies. Seeking answers. You know, in some ways you feel as though one of you is looking on the internet for the other. You might be doing it mutually since this is mutual energy. Okay, so what else about the tower card? What is the restruct? What got destroyed here? What was destroyed? Ah, plans for the future. Stability. Stability was destroyed in this relationship any hope for the future, any hope that there could be a future came crumbling down. Why do you feel defensive? Third party situation and or just 
you hurt each other pretty deeply. You both loved each other. You still love each other, and yet there's three swords through the heart. It feels very painful for both of you. Tell us more about the Three of Swords, please. Beautiful energy of a romantic Knight of Cups. The Eight of Swords, self-imposed restrictions. So your person offered you a, more of a lightweight offer is how I'm seeing this. They had in and out energy. They maybe have been attached to someone else that just dropped out. You feel as though you don't know what the truth is, but they also feel as though they don't know you. So self-imposed restriction, this is mutual energy. You both hurt each other. You are both romantic with each other. You both felt defensive. You both feel as though there's nothing you can do. Eight of Swords, neither of you is taking action. Both of you are trying to strategize what you would do if something happens. And yet, you know, we have this energy of you, you aren't speaking. And look at here we have it. The King of Cups, you both love each other so much, and yet you're not speaking about it. You're not talking about it. Why aren't you speaking about your love at this time? The Chariot card, ah. Okay, so someone is going to come in very fast here. Temperance card, you both want reconciliation. You both want this to change. One of you will throw caution to the winds. It probably will be the younger person. I also get that the feminine energy here, very Cancerian nurturing energy, is the one who will hold back in this connection. Okay. What do we see for the future? Whoops. The future, the near future, will be the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a new passionate attempt at a beginning. Somebody's throwing caution to the winds, right? So it makes sense. So the Ace of Wands, love aces. Ah, somebody who's been cool, almost cold in this situation. The person who's really plays detached, but feels very passionately towards you. They're coming in, but they're not making a substantial offer. How, are, how, is, how, is, how will this person come to you? Oh, it's all about the sun. It's all about being happy. This person wants you back in their life because you are their, literally, you know that song, you are their sunshine. You are their happiness. So this is also Aquarius energy. It can be any air sign energy. So this person is being very strategic. They're not going to make any promises to you though. And the sun card says that they're coming back in. They want the love, they want the physical love, they want the intensity, but more so, this is fifth house energy. This is Leo energy. It's passionate energy. It's fiery. This person feels as though you're almost a member of their family in terms of who makes them happy. And, and when we look at the fact that we choose our family to a large degree, that's what I'm seeing here. Let's see, the sun card though is the house of making love, sexuality. It's the card that says that you know, that tells us that you have a very intense relationship. The heat is there, the happiness is there, the joy is there when the two of you are together. This person feels that way. They intuitively know that you still care. Okay, so I would say, I don't, let's see what actions, if any, they're going to take. Because we do have an Ace of Wands. We do have a Chariot card here. Will this person take action towards you, Gemini? Will this person take action towards you, Gemini? And if so, when what might that be? Seven of Swords, ooh, they're doing reconnaissance. That is being stealthy, that's being strategic. They want it. <laughs> this person does not want a near miss with you. They want to score. <laughs> They definitely do not plan on doing anything. Yeah, they're going to slow walk this. They are coming towards you. You may be involved with a Virgo. 
<laughs> what else do we need to know? Oh, and here you are, Gemini, looking fine as wine. Look at you. You're, oops, I don't know. You can't see this. Okay, let me bring these over here. So what we see is this person is going to slow walk. You may have Virgo in your chart also. Those are both Virgo cards. You may work together. What I'm seeing here is a strategy. This, oh, the, <laughs> there's another element here. For those of you who might have worked or collaborate, or you might see this person because you collaborate on a regular basis, this person has no desire to have you for money. That is not even part of the equation of why they want to see you. So if you thought that, if you ever thought that, the answer is no. What we're getting here is that this person wants to come in very balanced. They want to be very successful with you. And we have devil energy. Both of you are obsessed with each other. Tell us something about the devil energy, please. Tell us something about the devil energy. Ah, the devil energy is all about, this is about strategy once again. The devil energy is all about your person wanting to come in and they want to take charge. When we get, we get the Devil card, which is Capricorn. We get the Emperor, which is Aries. So this person is somewhat manipulative. If they can, it, they will do whatever they have to do to get you. Now, do I see them as an inherently dishonest person? No. Do I see them hell-bent on wanting their happiness? Absolutely. When we get the Chariot card, both of you love each other incredibly. Both of you want this. Both of you feel very much obsessed with each other. Your person knows this. Both of you are cool, calm, and collected, though. It's very interesting to me that you're both pretty, pretty strategic. Let's look and see with this devil card. Let's see what else. Let's see what the advice is about this devil card for you. What's the advice about the devil card? What should you do? Feel loved and comforted. Okay, this person's doing whatever they have to do to have you. Okay, what else do we need to know about the devil? Be devoted and committed, okay. So the devil is in the details I feel here. For many of you, this person has a connection to someone else. It looks as though spirit is saying that you may be in um, a soulmate or twin flame kind of a journey for some of you. For others of you, the three of swords will not be a third party situation. It will just, it will just tell me, it just tells me that both of you really have been broken hearted from a tremendous love affair. Something that is has been devastating for both of you. And of course, when you lose the sun, right? What if somebody took the sun away from our planet? It's time to release negativity. So both of you got caught up in a very negative cycle. Tell us about the devil card for our Gemini friends here. Show the world the real you. So it does appear that your person is struggling with that. I don't feel that you are. What else does our person need to know about being themselves? Nothing is yet set in stone. Hmm. So we don't really know what the answer is, but you know, that's normal. Life goes on. The beat goes on. I'm going to pull a couple of fairy oracles here to really see the energy now from the fairy spirit, the fairy world. Let's look and see what your energy is and your person's energy. The devil card is always sort of an underlying uh, trouble to me because it is a card of manipulation. It is a, a card that usually one person tries to control another. The returning, yes, they are returning. All right, what else do we have for you? The Lady of Sorrows, okay. The Captive Man. Ooh, wow, look at this, and the question. The Captive Man, the Lady of Sorrows, and the question. 
All right, I am not, I don't know the answers to the meanings of every single aspect of this deck. I am learning it. So what I think this means is that this person can't give up on you. You feel very wounded and burdened by them. Uh, they are coming back. And the question, let's see what the question is. Ah, the question. The fairy questions are very important questions, answers, and wishes. All of those things that help or hinder us on our journey are very much a part of our relationship with fairy. Who am I? What is your quest? Why have you come here? And what do you seek? Are the questions often asked by individuals who mate fairy. So that is what the Lady of Sorrows is saying to the captive man. So whoever the feminine energy is, you really want to know that you need to answer those questions within yourself also. If you are clear about your quest for what you seek, then you will be able to, ans uh, to ask the right questions and be ready to hear the answers. Now, the, the Lady of Sorrows is very simple. This is a person who holds on to their pain. So Gemini, if you are the Lady of Sorrows, that's not going to serve you. So the devil energy is that you may be holding on to your pain in a very toxic way to try to manipulate your person uh, into trying to you know, just trying to manipulate them, like trying to make them feel guilty. Now, the captive man, let's look and see what we have for the captain man here. Captive man. Okay, hold on. The captive man set is says a lot about the darker nature of fairy. Fairy women, especially fairy queens, have always desired human male companionship, and they aren't very particular about how they go about getting it. Well, this could speak to a third party situation for some of you, but the, the fairy, the captive man is blinded by fairy glamour and cannot see his way clear of the entanglement he is trapped in. Men and women can be trapped by false perceptions. We easily become enamored of someone or something that is not what it appears to be. We are blind and deaf to the warnings of our friends and continue to believe in something Thing that may well be doing us harm and is certainly keeping us in thrall to false ideals. If the captive man appears, we muse and ask for clear sight. We need the help of our true friends, fairy human, to see what binds us. When we finally see the truth, we can begin to free ourselves of those harmful ties. Just as the fairy queen is loath to give up her human lover, a situation in which we are trapped by false perceptions may be impossible to escape. Asking for true sight is the best way to begin. So whoever the masculine is in this relationship is so enamored. They're so enamored with the feminine that they feel trapped and actually, so that's what we see. This person is really trying to come back and get answers here. They're being stra quite strategic. Let's see what the advice is for the captive man. What's the advice for the captive man here? Move in a new direction. Okay, so what should that direction be? What will the captive man do in terms of your relationship? What is he likely to do in terms of your relationship? Ah! <laughs> Make a commitment to you. That's what I'm getting when we get the Venus card. This is Venus and Taurus energy. It really means that spirit is saying that moving in a new direction, giving you a solid relationship, allowing you to be the earth mother that you are, being more than a romantic that comes and goes and leaves you feeling heartbroken. Basically, it's the embodiment of coming in, 
with a solid offer intuitively for happiness. So that is the advice. Now, will our person take it? Will Gemini's person's lover, will they take it? They might be younger, they might be immature. Will they take the advice to come in with a solid offer? The answer to this is yes, they are at a crossroads. There we go. So your person will. We have the Two of Cups. That's a commitment card, the Bride and Groom and the Rider Weight deck. The Six of Wands says that your person wants to enjoy life with you. They want to win at this relationship and they are at a crossroads, but the Two of Cups is coming up as one of your as your outcome. So I like it. It's really nice. The two of you have been in separation for a while, and it really is wearing at you, Gemini. All right, sending your love from Chicago. It's been a joy being here with you. Please don't forget to enter the contest, like, subscribe, share, comment, ring the all notifications button on subscriptions, and give the video a thumbs up. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.